Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio here with a book clip that has taken quite the amount, a lot of time. All right, this is a Coptic, Coptic stitch book with a napkin decoupage on it. I did it on front and back. It's got gold eyelets. If you want to see how I made it, I will link the other, uh, I will link that video in the description box below so you can take a look at it real quick and here we go so I want to start with the back first uh hang on <laughs> oh well it doesn't matter um I started the book on the 10th of August of 2020 and I finished it on 419 2021 I wanted to put that in there because so often I don't date stuff I forget well it's just for me you know and I forget and then I want to know well how long did it take me well I didn't write down when I started all right so here we go um this is I can't remember what kind of board anyway all right this is the first thing I did in here was a mandala of a flower it's supposed to be a sunflower and this was the August the 10th of 2020 and this is during the summer of the pandemic of last year Man, I did a lot of art last year up to a certain point, and after that, I totally lost interest. So, let's see. I can't... We have sun, and I was trying to do this while you could see. These are just... Let's see. Uploaded by Thalia Gnomes from Pinterest. G-O-M-E-S. Oh, maybe it's Gomez. I don't know. Anyway, that's this one. And then, I don't know who... I, this is my creation, inspired by someone... Name Random Uniformity on Instagram. A lot of these, the inspiration came from Instagram. It was a challenge by uh, Peg Robinson and a group of other people to do things in the black and tan. And so I made this book specifically for that challenge. And I tried to post almost every single day that I did something in it on Instagram. So a lot of these things may look familiar to you. If you um, are on my Instagram account, which is private. Okay, so uh, some of this is Posk pen. Some of it is um, like Micron, Stadler, Unipin, those kind of things. Those are the kind of things that I used in here in the beginning. I love this one. This one was inspired from a picture on Pinterest, and I think this what might have been a Rebecca Blair's artwork. This woman is phenomenal with doodles and black work and that kind of stuff. This, I, I'm going to massacre this person's name, but this is Aussie art, um, Aboriginal art. I think her name is Kwai Branley, B-R-A-N-L-Y. I tried to give credit on ones where I knew the name of the person or it was on Pinterest. Nothing like using somebody else's art and not giving them credit, which really irritates me. Raylene Stevens, she is very popular on Pinterest and in Australia for her Aboriginal art. This, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. This also came from something off of Pinterest, but mine doesn't look like theirs. This is another thing that came from Pinterest. Um, I'm not sure where this one came from. And this is another Rebecca, Rebecca Blair inspired black and white or black and tan. Just playing with lines. That's all it is. There, there's nothing tricky about it. Just lines. This one is one of my favorite ones in the book. This did come off of Pinterest. There's somebody who did all kinds of leaves with colors and transitions and stuff. And let me tell you what, this was a challenge to do, but I really enjoyed this. And I just, I just love this one. I loved it so much that I decided to do leaves on the other side, too. These are just done with uh, some kind of a felt pen. And the person also did stuff like this. But I tried it with Posca, and I tried to smear it, you know, transition the color. What a nightmare, and it did not turn out the way I thought it was going to. This is circles. I love the circles with the lines. You'll see this theme a lot through my stuff. This one just got finished yesterday. 
it was inspired by something I saw on Pinterest. A lot, some of this stuff does not have people's names on it, so I can't give credit, but it did come from Pinterest. I love this one too. I love the colors. These are all Posca pins, including the black background. All Posca, except for the outlining in the black, and I think that was done with the Jelly Roll pen. This one started out being colorful, and then uh, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Just got very dark real quick. And after I finished it, I really didn't care for it, but, you know, it is done. This was based off of flowers I saw on someone's Instagram account. And when I got finished with it, it just, you, it kind of blended in with the paper. And I didn't like it, so that's why I filled in the empty spaces with the white Posca. Um, these are flowers that I tried from somebody else's pictures on Instagram. And I was trying to try on their style. You'll see this kind of flower in here either two or three more times. I like this with the color transition stuff. And these are all Poscas. And then I think these, um, the black lines are Jelly Roll pen. Another thing where I was trying on somebody else's creations off of Instagram. Saw like, you know, a little blip of a flower and went, oh, that's cool. And then I went to town. This is like this one, only with more color. Again, Posca's, and I think the pen again is a jelly, black jelly roll. I like black jellies that are number 10 and number 8. Little thicker tip. This came from an idea off of Pinterest. This came from a Pinterest account, and I'm so bummed out about this. When I did this. I was going to color in this part right here, and the Posca pen went. Pfft. So I just stopped. I, I tried to fix it as best I could, and then realized that the brown I was trying to do does not match, and what a nightmare. Anyway, so that's that. I think this woman's name is pronounced Sheila, and her last name is Duffett. I like her art, it's very simple colorful. She does a lot with flowers and some kind of a little fat squatty vase or sometimes she has tall vases but it's all just kind of very basic and it looks so cool. I think this might be another one of hers inspired by hers. Mine doesn't look like hers but it's inspired by her. And there's another one. See look at the vase, the basic flower shapes. It's very effective. Love it. Okay, here we go again with the colors. These are all Poscas, different shades of purples and blues and pinks, and then the Jelly Roll pen for the black. This one, her name is Laura. I think it's Loman. I love this. It's all Poscas, and hers is a little different, but the idea was to do the graduated colors, and, you know, I just, I just love this. This is happy, you know? This one is from uh, off of someone's, uh, what are those photo capture accounts? I can't remember what it is, but it was called Fantasy Gar her Fantasy Garden Collection, and I think it says uh, it's P. Riley or P. Riley. Um, and I, I like these kind of things. These were great. Again, Poscas. And here's another one from that same person. I did the different colors. I love this. And then Raylene Stevens again. This one's inspired by her Aboriginal art. These are pinks, oranges, and yellows. And then the white. This is, I don't know, <laughs> just doodling. There's those flowers again we saw towards the beginning that somebody else makes on Instagram that I tried to kind of mimic. I, I'm not crazy about them, but, you know, they did... I don't know, they they kind of made me happy in a weird sort of way. I think where I took a turn is when I used some kind of a pen and it was shiny. And I don't do shiny. So, um, you know, it just kind of, see how it kind of shimmers? Not my thing. And then after that, I kind of like, well, eh. Other people like shimmer. I got nothing against it. It's just not for me. This, again, was inspired by art off of Instagram. It doesn't look like the person's work, but 
the concept of doing this right here, it, I did get from somebody off of Instagram. Again, this is that, um, what's her name? Sheila Duffett. That's inspired by her. This is a, uh, based on dueling from Zentangles, Zentangle patterns, where I can't remember what they're called, but I really like making these look like, you know, twisted wire or twisted. This was inspired by something I saw on Pinterest. This also was inspired by something on Pinterest, although it does not look like what, it, what the other person's was, but that's how it started out. This came from somebody off of um, Instagram where they did the rolling stuff like this around some kind of inside, I think it was, script text. So I gave it a shot. I'm not sure how I feel about it. There are, <clears throat> excuse me, there are parts of it that I really like, and there are other parts that I think that could use improvement. Live and learn, right? Practice, practice, practice. Again, these are those same type shapes the other person used. I think her last name is Myrtles, M-U-R-D-L-E-S, on Instagram. This is a Lisa Congdon-inspired thing. I took one of her classes on, uh, was it Craftsy? Mm, I can't remember. Um, one of those subscription things where you can pick your classes, and I learned how to do that from her, and then I just kind of went off on my own doing different things. Hers was a watercolor class. These are Poscas. Just flowers, just playing around with shapes. Again, with this one, just playing with shapes. Not really, there's a stencil in the background, and then I drew spiky flowers over it. This is inspired by that um, Sheila Duffett. This is mine. There's another one of those that was inspired from that Myrtle's person. I think it's Myrtle's, M-U-R-D-L-E-S, from Instagram. If you look at the people that follow me on Instagram and you're on my Instagram account, you'll find her. She has a lot of stuff in black and white. And this is an old thing I learned from um, Zendoodles and Doodles and Tangles and that kind of stuff. Line work. And there's that woman, Myr Myrtle's. That's her... Um, this is inspired by her stuff, too. She does a lot of double spreads. Hers is a little more complicated than mine is, but I really like this. I like how bold it is, but then it has little delicate things inside the leaves. I like this one. I don't usually do double spreads, but I really like this. Again, with the circles, testing out red, white, and blue for 4th of July. Although that was in December. <laughs> These, this is a leaf stamp that I carved in um, Carved December one year. I don't remember what year it was. I think it was 2019. Um, and so I just took light colored paint or stamps and stamped them all, and then I did line work on them. This is just mindless doodling while I was watching TV. And yes, I'm going to leave it the way it is. I am not going to finish it. I am not the least bit interested in finishing this. So for me, it is finished. This was inspired by Crayola Easy. Car Carlo, C-A-R-O-L-A, -A, Easy. I'm not sure if that's a real person or not, but that's what I wrote down off of Pinterest. This one's done because... After I put all these little tiny hearts in between these hearts, I thought, oh my God, it's going to take me ever for forever to finish this. And I lost interest in it. So it's going to stay that way until I feel inspired again. This one is doodles. And then the black mark in here is from a glass pen dipped into um, P.H. Martin's ink. Um, the pen was a gift from a friend. And I love that silly dip pen. I'm still learning how to use it. And it had a little right there and some and you know it happens but what do you do again another one just putting little things together killing time while I watch TV more doodles this one I really like this one 
But I have to tell you what happened. <laughs> this is done on top of the doodles and it's on the paper itself. Well, I had a Posca marker that went everywhere. I mean, it was a big splat. And I was like, oh my God, what am I going to do? So I cut a piece of brown tan paper and I recreated this onto the paper and glued it over the splat. <laughs> you do what you got to do. <laughs> this was fun. I really enjoyed this one. I cut all the brown off from the page I did it on and ended up gluing it back onto the page because it was kind of blah, 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 blah. And I thought, well, you know, it's going to get ripped or messed up. So I put a lot of work in it and I didn't want that to happen. So I ended up gluing it back on another page. This one was fun. This is based on all those color leaves and stuff, playing around with them. And then some a friend gave me a, a oh, I don't know whose stuff it, it was, a girl. And then I just colored her in black. They said, you know, just color her in black. So I did, because I've never done that before. And then I just put a saying saying, I'm a rainbow sprinkle in a vanilla world. These are based on um, a girl's drawings off, it's called Made by the Rat on Instagram. Her hands look very young, so I don't think she's very old, but she does a lot of stuff with flowers and um, pens. This is in March of this year. This is based on a concept that came from um, Rebecca Blair, where she does rows of stuff and then just, you know, doodles in it. But her stuff is not colorful like this. I did these with the Poscas. This is another... Um, inspired by Sheila Duffett. I think this one might actually be my work, not hers. But I can't remember. This is a flower that I learned to draw and I was trying to practice the petals, you know, overlapping because it's like a big knot and there's petals that are overlapping each other and I was trying to teach myself how to do that. And it was just based on line work. And when I got finished, I thought, you know what? It looks very flat. It needs shading. So I bought these pens. Where are they? Oh, I bought a set of these pens. Were they unip unipens? And they come in a light gray, dark gray, and a brown. It comes in, they come in a, I think it's a 01. Yeah, 01. And point... A, uh, a point 0.1 and a point 0.5. So you get six markers in the packet. These are great for shading. I really like these. And that's what I did this with. I did the shading with these. I love those. This, uh, uh, okay. <laughs> this was not what it was intended to be. This background is what I started out with and then I thought you know what I need something on there because I think I had a splat with a Posca pen so I took a picture of a flower that I liked and just glued it on top of the splat and that's become the focal point this one um, what did I do something happened on this one and I didn't like it so I just glued coffee dyed paper over it and put a stamp of a rabbit on here and a couple other little things that I liked and called it a day. This again is based on, you know, this kind of stuff that I had in the beginning with all the colors. Whoops, not that one. Well, fooey, you know, this kind of art. I like these colorful things with the Poscas. Get a lot of boogers on them for the paper. This is me. Just fooling around with flowers and color and, you know, form. Again, this was based on something that I saw someplace. And um, the brown is a brown Posca. The white is a white jelly roll. And right when I was almost finished, the brown went, and I was like, ugh. And I tried to wipe it off as best I could. I was like, well, I'll just make it a bigger mess. I thought, well, just let it dry for a couple weeks. And then I went back over it again and, and tried to cover it up. So it looks more white here than some of the other places. But that's because it's the newest. Then this one, again, is the same leaf stuff as the colorful ones. But this is done in earth tones. This I can't even talk about. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'd come, 
you know, I, I wanted to play around with a bunch of envelopes that I had, so I took the inside of the black and white envelope, and then I started draw glued it on there, and then I started drawing on it. Before I know it, I was coloring in all the places in color, and I only meant this to be black and white. <laughs> and then you saw this. These are just flowers on uh, Posca colored uh, circles that I made with this. And there it is. So there's my book, and it's all finished. Thanks, every sorry. Thanks everybody for stopping in and watching, and I appreciate it. I I like looking at people's flips, and I like hearing how they arrived at what they ended up with, because I think it's very interesting how people's brain works with their art. And I think, well, why didn't I do that? So then I go back and I try something on my own. Or I see it on Pinterest and i like, well, I can kind of do that. It's not my style, but I can take little elements of their work and put it into mine. So mandalas, you know, that's the same type thing. I learned how to do these years ago when I took a Zentangle class from a CZA, Certified Zentangle Teacher. And I've been practicing a lot of this stuff since then. I think I took it in 2000 and four. It's been a while. 2000. Uh, yeah, somewhere around there, I think. Anyway, so I enjoyed the class and then I've kept up with the doodling and that kind of stuff. I mean, that's basically my kind of art. Quick and easy. <laughs> you know, not a lot of time invested except for fiddly stuff like this, you know. All right. So thanks for watching, everybody. I do appreciate it. If you like the book, like, share, subscribe. And I will put the link down below of me making the book. I think I have a video on this. I can't remember. If you don't see the link, I either forgot or I'm telling a lie. <laughs> All right, guys. See you in the next video. Bye.